Alright, welcome back. Last time, we found out that this colony was doomed because the refrigeration failed, even though we have a, a seed. I'm gonna fight this thing. Just to see it. Oh, we can kill the... Whoa! Oh, what the heck? What the heck was that? Oh my gosh. That was... The look on that rat is the look I had on my face. Oh, it shut, did it shoot the rat? And it hit Marley. Oh, that's interesting. It snipes them. Okay. And since Chrono moves to attack, it shot him, huh? That's interesting. No, you know, let's use the, uh... Her... Oops, no. Her heal tech only takes one MP. So, it's pretty good. Gotta heal yourself. <laughs> Got shot pretty hard. I didn't want to fight that, but I want to fight everything at least once, just so we get to see it. I don't know how many of these we're gonna have to fight. Walk around. We just fight the one? I guess we'll fight the two. Got the cyclone tech. Spin cut nearby enemies. You only hit for like nine damage. The iron gear doing work. 90 HP. That's right, I took Luca's sight scope off. But you can kind of tell, like, when you do 88 to one and 92 to the other, and then the one that takes 92 dies, you kind of assume 90. That's when I'm wrong, and it's got 89 HP. And I'm just a freaking scrub. I don't want to fight that. It's like a giant crab bot, but I guess we're going to have to at some point. What's well, some about the robots? Oh, the shadows. Got the League of Shadows down there. Oh, we don't even need to go that way, huh? Alright, so let's... Is there anything up there? I don't see a point to going that way. So you go through the right through the shadows, and you can cross this bridge where the bugger's at. And then there's nothing up there. Maybe we have to go that way later. And then we came over, and here's our crab bot. Wait. I see this here. I see stairs. Okay, so we can get... It looks like the way out, there's a console that way. I don't know if we need to do something with the console. I don't know if it's the same password. I'm hoping not. I just, I want to check down here. Anything? No? Probably the easier way to get through here, just going up that, is what it looks like. The console's that way. Do we need the console? Oh, there's a crest. That might be worth... That's worth noting. Do you have to find another boss? This is the info center. Good. Your computer's still operational. If we run a search on time warps, we might find our gate. Here, got it. Luca, you're so smart. East of Aristone. What about east of Eden? Through lab 32. that dome. Have to go through one more ruin. That would be Proto-Dome, I believe. Leave it to Luca. I'm beginning to think you could find anything with this device. What does this button do? You never touch the button. You never, ever touch the button. 1999 AD. Visual record of the Day of Lavos. Some Armageddon going on. Oh gosh, what the hell is that? It's destroying everything. Well, 
That's not cool. What a dick. What is that? Lavos? Is that what's destroying our world? We must truly be in the future. No! No way! I refuse to believe it! Oh, that's an interesting sprite. I don't think I've ever seen that. This... This can't be the way the world ends. This giant... Frickin' molten hedgehog. Chrono! There's only th one thing we can do! We must change history! Just like Chrono did when he saved me! Okay, Luca. Okay, Chrono. Why are you getting me involved? Chrono's just a guy. I guess so. It was a stroke of luck that we were sent here through that gate. Chrono, let's go. I really want to say no. Let's see what they say. No. Come on, show Marley what you're made of. Woo! Chrono, Luca, together we can do this. Let's take a second and do some more research on Lavos activity back in our time period. Next stop, Protodome. We get the savage music. Oh, now they're all inspired. I'm ready! Ah! Okay, so I guess we can leave now. There's that console, though. Let's see what the console does for us. I do like the song, though. It's pretty, pretty good. The music is so on point in this game. Alright, I guess... Oh, I see how it is. You activate the console when you can unseal those things. And then walk over to it. I'm assuming it's just a bunch of powerful gear, or rare items, or something like that. I, If someone actually knows the game I'm thinking of, feel free to throw it in the comments. Because there is, I want to say it's a Final Fantasy game, there is a game where they had like sealed chests or something like that, and, that, and after you get to a point, you can open all of them, or whatever, and it just has like powerful stuff. Or most of them do anyway, so it's kind of like you have to backtrack to them. So I thought that was really cool. And it looks like the same thing is going on here, that's my assumption. I mean, there could be other stuff. They could all be secret boss battles or something. We have to fight this. Oh! Oh! Jukes! The Jukes! The Jukes are on fire. Alright, cool. So far, though, really, really fun game. Not just for, like, the nostalgia RPG purposes, but then, like, the... Like, mechanically... Just mechanically, the game is awesome. You're back. Because of the positioning and movement mechanics in the fights, that doesn't it keeps it from getting stale. It's actually really cool. Well, what did you discover? A corn seed. This is our future. What? Who cares? Where's the food? <laughs> this is all we could get. Seeds? Oh, more than one seed. That's good, actually. You don't know how long the Enertron will hold out. Those seeds might be your only hope. You have to stay alive, and so do we. Huh. You're strange. You're different from us. I think it's because we're healthy. He healthy. Got a nice ring to it. We'll try growing the seeds. What are those? They just might be our future. Heading for Protodome? Go by way of Laboratory 32 and take this with you. Got a bike. Oh. It's a key to the jet bike in Lab 32. I used to ride it when I was young. Hope it still works. They've got more powerful robots over there. Take care and stay healthy. Thanks, bro. You stay healthy too. Disease ridden people of the future. I said in the last episode, what am I going to do for breakfast? It's going to be lunch by the time I'm done. It's almost 11. And all these people talking about food. Got me hungry. I don't want to go out and buy food. I really want to make something at the house. I can make eggs. I can just cook eggs. That sounds good. I'll just cook some eggs. Because I'm going to get dinner. Like, I'm actually going to buy dinner later. I don't like spending... 
Like, if I buy some- if I buy food one day, like, take out or something like that, I don't like to do it more than once, which sometimes does happen. But, we'll see. I never do fast food, though. Except, like, in and out in and outs okay. We can get to the southern continent through this. You can see the other door. But we're not supposed to go there yet. I'm wondering. Do you guys think there's secret treasure? Do you think if we go in here... There's going to be a secret treasure chest with a super powerful sword. Bandits! We have support to Sir Crawley. I just want the treasures. Can you hit these chrono? They're in the water. Yeah! This is nearly like 200 damage. Okay, that's not bad. It's okay to be here right now. Speaking of levels and stuff like that, what I really, really hate in Destiny, I really like the game, but what I really hate is for one, they can't design good boss mechanics besides like vaults of glass. They don't know how to design bosses, it seems like. But then also, there's a bridge here. I saw it, Ribbit. Fool! Ribbit, there, <laughs> there's nothing here. It's the truth, Rivet. Key Polyp. Someone's coming. Let's scram, Rivet. Rivet and Rivet. This is interesting music. It's kind of like jokey. Like I'm getting a big go-go vibe. Can we not go down? This is a tad on the spooky side. This is an eerie place. I got a bad feeling about this. Well... Exploring never hurt anyone. Except when someone died. Ah! The cat! The cat tricked me! Yeah, with Destiny, really fun game. What I don't like, besides how they can't design bosses properly, is that... Oh god, that hurt. I wonder if the iron gear is not good. Conducts electricity. Nah, it probably doesn't matter. Yeah, with Destiny, they... The way they try and impose difficulty is by raising levels. And that is like the weakest and most uncreative way. It's okay back in the SNES days, you know, because we're just... We're getting... We're just getting into gaming, you know. It's okay. But with... Plus the leveling... I feel like the leveling's more to give you a sense of progression. Because you're always, like, right at about the same level as everything around you. It's very rare that you can travel somewhere you're not supposed to yet and get your ass whooped. You know, that doesn't happen in these games too often unless you get, like, an airship or something. You can fly to specific areas, you know. Yeah, in Destiny, they're like, well, how can we make this harder? Oh, we just make it so everything's one level above you. And what does that do? It means you take a shit ton of more damage and you do less damage. It's like, that's... That's dumb. It's a very stupid and artificial way to impose difficulty. It's like, why don't you just make the fights harder, you know, change the mechanics. Alright, we're gonna save on a different spot. What the hell? Oh, gosh. I should Cyclone. That's so cheap. Like, I trusted them. And they do this crap to me. Looks like a save point, guys. JK. Oh, we can't even... Okay. We, we took another 17 damage because I was trying to get the tech off, but it didn't matter. I'm starting to figure out why I get lightheaded when I talk. Like, for long periods. It's because I stop breathing for some reason when I start talking. Trying to slow it down. Yeah, I was talking about Destiny before. Um, my friend Perry and I, we played with another friend of ours. And I didn't realize how good he was at the game. He's really fucking good. Like, he two mans Crota on hard good. He could probably solo it. He just never tried. And so he took us through Crota and Skolas pretty efficiently. Like, Crota went pretty fast. Skolas took a bit, because I I honestly screwed up the first couple times. 
which isn't normal. But, yeah. So I screwed up the first couple times, and then after about an hour, we got it down. Because there was a couple times I screwed up, there was a couple times the other people screwed up, and then there were like three times where we just had something completely random, like dumbass lag happened or something. And so, you know, we got wrecked by lag. Oh yes, the secret stuff. Nothing. I feel like this whole episode is going to be me in this fucking sewer. Go around and press the button, or press the switch. Oh. Oh. Oh, no. Okay, we haven't gone this way yet. I guess we have to go around to open the door. Damn it. Alright, I'm going to walk back and I'll see you guys back there. Alright, that didn't take too long. Oh, there's a notice here, or a paper. Probably need to attack for reading the paper. There's a diary. Here's the last page. It's all over. The fishmen attack if I make even the slightest noise. I'd rather have my gums scraped. Ow. Than have to fight those fiends. That just sounds painful. Why? Alright, so I guess we need to go around and pop the door. Yeah, that, it makes sense, though. Ooh, there's a chest. This is all I wanted. I wanted a chest out of here. I was trying to walk to the chest. Why? I should probably kill the... I should probably kill the fishmen first. They probably did the most damage. Oh, JK, these do a lot of damage. I just don't like how long their attacks take to animate. It's always like, uh... I think I'm gonna make some eggs for breakfast, though. I think chop up some onion, get some avocado, make a pseudo omelet, but not an actual omelet. Just kind of mix it together, make a, a scramble. Sounds really good. I'll do that, and then I'll start editing, and then that'll probably be my day. I'll leave it about two o'clock. Get ready, get all my stuff done. I have school starting next Monday, I'm kind of sad. I mean, it should be a good thing, because I'm starting to... I've had about three weeks off, so I'm starting to get slightly bored. Well, but I have so much to do still, that's the thing, is like... Like, I want to play Destiny the most, but I get bored playing Destiny now that I've done pretty much everything. And so... I'm just kind of waiting until next month for the expansion. Okay, so we can't get around to the other side to pop the door. We can't open the bridge. Or whatever, so I guess we should just take off. And then let's come over to these guys and use their healing station again. Wait, did it take so long to get in here? Okay. So I'm gonna heal and then I'll meet you guys back at the lab. My husband, he's... he's gone. But he left me precious gifts. These seeds in our child. Daddy's sure taking his time. Yeah, about that. This place is so creepy. Got these apocalyptic worlds. Midtonics. Yeah, so it's probably gonna be the same as before. It said there's stronger robots out here, though. I wonder if we have to deal with- oh, what the heck? Is that the jet bike? Can we just take the freaking bike? Oh, yeah. Robots! I never fought these. Oops. Oh, we have to fight them. Are we? Hold it right there. Hey, it's... The man! Like, thanks for the intro, babe! The man! <laughs> you lowlifes can call me Johnny. Now listen up. Part of an old highway leads through these ruins. Think you can beat me in a bike race? Use that jet bike. Don't chicken out, babe. Do you know how to ride? Nope. Alright, listen up. The gas is on auto, so there's only one speed. 
fast. Use the control pad to steer, and the B button for a turbo boost. I'll give you three of them, but it takes a moment to recharge between boosts. Check your position at the bottom of the screen. Now show me what you got, babe. Alright. Does it matter if we beat him or not? I guess this is just a minigame. Oh gosh. Oh, he's trying to bump me. Like, the goal is to get in front of him. And, like, keep him bouncing. Keep bouncing on him. Oh, shoot. Oh, did I win? I did. Woo. <laughs> I really thought that I missed that. Because I boosted and I ran into him. That's not too bad. That's pretty cool. Like, it was just a cute little minigame, but like the actual scenery and like the what you're doing is actually cool. You beat me. I don't get it. You can challenge me anytime. We'll ride the wind, babe. Yes, every time you use it. Oh, thank you. Screw the powerful robots. We just get to do that. That's cool. That's, thank you. Thank you, game. Alright, so what is this? Factory. We're supposed to go to Proto Dome. So I guess let's do that first. Get on with the story stuff. I think the sewer side trip was enough. Aww. Oh, they shock you? Does it not matter? Like, I didn't want to move to attack because it does the counter attack thing. But actually, Chrono doesn't have to move for this, he just hits him, right? Yeah. Like, my fear is that Chrono moves to attack. Let's actually test that. And then they both shoot him, right? Oh, they don't? Okay, I guess it's just the rats that they snipe. That's not too bad. So I thought if you had to move to attack him, it would shoot him, and I didn't want Chrono to get nailed by three people. Plus, the way they are positioned, it might, like, hit all three people and just wipe the party. But it didn't happen that way, so that's good. I really don't want to fight these. I just don't. Oh, there's an Enertron, though. Is that worth it? Oh, this was in the cutscene, huh? I guess we're gonna have to fight that to get the Enertron. What's this? It's in bad shape, but it appears to be a humanoid robot. Incredible. I think I can fix it. Alright, Bob the Builder. What? It might attack us! I'll make sure it won't. Machines aren't capable of evil. Only humans are. I'll <laughs> see. Humans make them that way. Luca, you... You pity them, don't you? Let me get to work now, okay? I just... I don't want to talk about it! <laughs> Got her tools. The door won't budge. I like that they're talking in between. I that's a nice little thing. I like that. Right. That does it. I'm gonna give it some juice. Whoa. <laughs> Good morning. Ma. Good morning, mistress. <laughs> what is your command? <laughs> Be a robot with this. I'm not your mistress. I'm Marley. And this is Chrono. And Luca here fixed you. Understood. Madam Luca fixed me. Just Luca will do. Impossible. That would be rude. Look, I hate formal titles. Don't you, Marley? Hate him. I understand, Luca. Alright, now what's your name? Name. My serial number is... Oh, my serial number. It is R66-Y. 
Probably don't say the dash, but you know what? Okay. R66Y? Cool! No, that won't do at all. Come on, Colonel, let's give him a better name. How many spaces do I get? There's only one thing I want to name him. Oops. I only get six? Ah. Uh, can I name him what he was supposed to be? R66-Y? I could. I don't want that, though. Okay. I wanted to name him Sentinel. Because I'm a big Marvel 2 fan. Like, that was, that was my game. And I'll tell that story, I guess, a little more later. But there's a reference. Okay, Yipes has a video where he calls... Where they had a color hack, and they had a... Orange Sentinel, and they called it Mango Sentinel. So this is gonna be Mango. Don't hate me. I'm sure I just destroyed someone's RP dreams out there. You only get five letters? That's ass! You're Mango. Mango. Mango, that's perfect! Your new name is Mango, okay? <laughs> I am Mango. Data storage complete. Hey Mango, why aren't there any people here? What? What has happened here? There were many humans and others of my kind in this dome. I think something awful happened here. It would appear so. But how is it that you survive? I'm a robot with no upward inflections. We came through a time warp from the year 1000. While exploring Aerostone, we learned there was a gate here. We found you when we came looking for the gate. But the door to the inner chamber is locked, so we're out of luck. Oh, I see Marley checked it when they were fixing that guy. That makes sense. The power is off. If we go to the factory up north, I can pass through security and activate the dome generator. You do that for us. You repaired me. Now it's my turn to help you. But the generator won't run for long, so someone must stay behind to open the door while the power's on. And Marley or I will stay. Oh, okay. I kind of want Luca to stay behind. Because Luca's only thing right now is DPS. Like, she only offers damage. While Marley can heal. But Luca offers elemental damage, which I don't have on Chrono. And I'm assuming the robot's not going to shoot fire, so... That's kind of a tough choice. We have tonics, but I'd rather... I'd rather Luca stay, because she does the least damage. And I don't think they're going to have it, so I need just fire damage to get through something. So that's my choice. Right, I'll handle things here. Okay, so we got a, we got a new pal. Yeah, so... I used to play in local tournaments for Marvel 2. Marvel vs. Capcom 2. I was a big fan of it. It was a fighting game in the early 2000s. I mean, it's still around, but... Titan Bess. Oh gosh, look at his defense. They always come so stacked. He's got Defender. Okay. He has no element. That's worth noting. I guess element depends on the human spirit. Which he has none? Is Marley water too? So Frog and Marley are water. What text do you have? You have a Cure Beam! Can I switch Luca? Damn it. Rocket Punch, he's perfect for Sentinel, dude. Alright. Okay. Notably, Marley's looks cheaper, though. Looks like you need my genius after all. So we can switch him, huh? This is really tough. I guess we'll just, we'll keep this. Oh, alright. Yeah, someone's gonna have to wait. Let's, let's test out the robot on these. Yeah, I was a big fan of Sentinel in that game. He was really good, obviously. But I just, I really like the... Oh, I should have done a freaking spin attack. I'm so stupid. Ooh, punch him! Got the Blanca mechanic over here. 
Hey, don't move. Yeah, and since I wanted to name him Sentinel, because he's a giant robot, and Mango Sentinel was the joke, so he's gonna be Mango. Don't hate me. Now we can use the Enertron. Dual Tech. Oh, they got Aura Beam. Alright, so we're gonna save outside because I'm at 32 minutes recorded. The robot doesn't need to be hungry. Yeah, and then I'm gonna get to editing. And then we'll get to use our new pal tomorrow. So thank you for watching. Next time we're gonna save on a different slot. Probably here. So next time, factory, robot shenanigans. And hopefully we'll get out of the the apocalypse. I don't think we're gonna be here too much longer, so probably one or two more videos. So yeah, I look forward to that. And I will see you later.